A policeman was interrogating three guys who were training to become detectives. He shows the first guy a picture for five seconds and then hides it. This is your suspect, how would you recognise him? That's easy, we'll catch him fast because he only has one eye. Well, that's because the picture I showed you is his side profile. He then flashes the picture for five seconds at the second guy and asks him, This is your suspect, how would you recognise him? He'd be too easy to catch because he only has one ear. What's the matter with you two? Of course only one eye and one ear are showing because it's a picture of his side profile. Frustrated, he shows the picture to the third guy and asks, This is your suspect, how would you recognise him? The suspect wears contact lenses. The policeman is surprised because he really doesn't know himself if the suspect wears contact lenses. So he goes to his office and checks, comes back and says, It's true, how did you make such an astute observation? That's easy, he can't wear regular glasses because he only has one eye and one ear. A guy is at a bar in a skyscraper restaurant high above the city. He slams a shot of tequila, goes over to the window and jumps. The guy next to him can't believe what he just saw. He's more surprised when 10 minutes later the same guy walks back into the bar. The astonished onlooker asks, how did you do that? I just saw you jump out the window and we're hundreds of feet above the ground. The jumper responds, well I don't get it either. I slam a shot of tequila and when I jump out the window the tequila makes me slow down right before I hit the ground. Watch. He takes a shot, goes to the window and jumps. The other guy runs to the window and watches the guy fall and land softly on his feet. A few minutes later the jumper walks back into the bar. The other guy has to try it too. He slams a shot of tequila and jumps out. And splat. At this point the bartender turns to the man, shakes his head and says, You are a real asshole when you're drunk, Superman. A father is listening to his daughter say her nighttime prayers. God bless mommy, God bless daddy, God bless grandma, goodbye grandpa. The father thinks, huh, weird and goes to bed thinking nothing of it. The next day he receives a phone call that the father has died. Slightly creeped, he listens to his daughter again that night. God bless mommy, God bless daddy, goodbye grandma. And sure enough, the next day the grandma is dead. He listens to his daughter again that night. God bless mommy, goodbye daddy. The dad goes to bed and wakes up tomorrow sweating. He goes to work and hides in his office all day. He avoids going home, heads to a motel and heads straight to bed. He cannot sleep, he is sweating buckets watching the clock slowly tick. 11.59, he waits for the inevitable. But then 12 o'clock. I made it, I cheated dead. He screams and heads home. Where have you been, shouts his wife. I had the shittiest day, says the father. You've had a bad day, I was the one who had the bad day. Why, sweetie? I went outdoors and the bloody milkman had fallen dead on the doorstep. A woman, cranky because her husband was late coming home again, decided to leave a note saying, I've had enough and have left you. Don't bother coming after me. Then she hid under the bed to see his reaction. After a short while, the husband comes home and she could hear him in the kitchen before he comes into the bedroom. She could see him walk towards the dresser and pick up the note. After a few minutes, he wrote something on it before picking up the phone and calling someone. She's finally gone. Yeah, I know. About bloody time. I'm coming to see you. But on that sexy French nighty. I love you. Can't wait to see you. We'll do all the naughty things you like. He hung up, grabbed his keys and left. She heard the car drive off as she came out from under the bed. Filled with rage, she picked up the note to see what he wrote. I can see your feet. We're out of bread. Be back in five minutes. An old gentleman purchased a home near a high school. He spent his first few weeks there in peace and contentment. The very next afternoon, three boys after school came down his street beating merrily on every trash can they encountered. They did this every day until finally the old man decided to take some action. The next afternoon, he walked out, stopped them and said, You kids are a lot of fun. In fact, I used to do the same thing when I was your age. Will you do me a favour? I'll give you a dollar if you'll promise to come around every day and do your thing. The kids were elated and continued to bang on the trash cans. After a few days, the old timer greeted the kids again. This recession's really putting a big dent in my income. From now on, I'll only be able to pay you 50 cents. The noisemakers were obviously displeased but continued to do it. A few days later, he approached them and said, Look, I haven't received my social security check yet. So from now on, I'll only be able to pay you 25 cents. Only a quarter? If you think we're going to waste our time beating these cans around for a quarter, you're nuts. No way, dude. We quit. A young man and his boss are traveling to a city by train. 
They found themselves opposite to a gorgeous 20-something girl and her 60-year-old looking mother. Within a few minutes, the young man and the girl start giving quick glances at each other. After 20 minutes or so, the young man starts a flirtatious conversation with her. The mother who notices this gives a stern look at her daughter and the young man. Not wanting to appear too bold or cocky in front of his boss, the young man quiets to the disappointment of the girl. As the train comes out of the tunnel, all four have sheepish looks at her faces. The girl is thinking, I am so glad the guy kissed me, but I wish my mother hadn't slapped him. The mother is thinking, how dare the guy kiss my daughter? Glad that she slapped him, serves him right. The boss is thinking, the guy was indeed very bold to kiss that girl. But I wish the mother had not accidentally slapped me instead of him. The guy is thinking, this is the luckiest day of my life. I get to kiss a pretty girl and slap my boss at the same time. So you're a hundred? Yep. And your wife is 98? Yep, she sure is. What's your secret for living a long life? I'll tell you my secret. I've been married for 75 years. I promised my wife when we got married that when we quarrel, the loser has to walk five kilometers. So I've been walking five kilometers every day for the past 75 years. Wow, that is a story. But how come your wife is healthy as well? That is another secret. For 75 years, every single day she has been following me to make sure I really walked the five kilometers. An old man suddenly arrived in hell in a burst of flames. The devil looked at his paperwork and frowned. He was unable to find this old man's data file. This can't be right, I've been a good man all my life. Why don't you start with how you died and we'll figure it out. Well I was out minding my grandchildren having a fun day out. I don't get them often because my eyesight is starting to fade. But we were having the most wonderful time. And then out of nowhere I saw the largest most grotesque mouse moving towards us. It moved straight towards the grandchildren first, limbs outstretched. So what did you do? I did the only thing I could. I grabbed my walking stick and cracked it over the head. But I needed to keep going. You see with mice you need to see their guts to know they're dead. So you killed it? Yes. At this point the exertion caught up with me and I suffered a heart attack. Next thing I know I'm here. Well this doesn't seem to add up, let me recheck the file. Okay I can see nothing here but before I send you up to heaven, where were you when you died? Oh that's easy, Disneyland.